Right, it's Thursday morning and I've just watched back the clips I made yesterday. And um, before we start, I think it's worth saying that I only film what I'm actually doing. This is real life flower farming. Um, I'm not pretending, I'm, go, I'm not going, oh, let's pretend to do this or that. And so I watched this film that I made yesterday and at the beginning I'm really time slow and my voice sounds really gritty. Uh, and that's because it's quite early in the morning and I hadn't had enough coffee yet. Anyway, um, as the clip goes on, I clearly wake up and the day gets better. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and take the growly voice and sleepy face as a bit of gritty realism. I think in social media, and I've been thinking about this, I'm, of clips I'm going to make through the autumn, um, social media is an amazing tool for small businesses like mine. I do teach social media workshops. Um, it's incredible because it's free and it's a wonderful way to share what you do and sell your product and so on. But um, there is a lot of fancy pants stuff that goes on. And I just want to reassure you, <laughs> I think, that what I do on my social media is what I'm actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So sometimes, uh, if I'm sitting there doing admin all day, staring at a laptop, it's not terribly exciting. So I might have a slow day on the social media, but days like yesterday on my Instagram, I put about 30 stories up on my Instagram yesterday because it was a really fun day and the pictures were lovely and it felt really instant and immediate. And so I was really enjoying what I was sharing. Um, so I think it's really worth explaining that that's what we do. I only film what we're actually doing. I only, I don't have time to do anything else. I film my real projects. Anyway, so the clip that's now gonna start with me looking tired and gritty is a real wedding, which I cut yesterday and this is what we cut. And I'm about to start filming again for making the wedding today. Anyway. Have a lovely little yellow orangey straw flower. Isn't that pretty? Actually, it doesn't look so nice. Doesn't look so nice. So that fell off. Anyway, enough. On we go. Let's make a start cutting this wedding. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, the 6th of September, and I'm cutting a wedding. The wedding is going to be on Friday. So it may, might feel a little early in the week to be cutting a wedding, but the wedding's on Friday, so we start on Tuesday instead of starting on Wednesday. And as is always the case, I have made a cutting list. So I need 1,110 stems, with probably a few more thrown in for luck, and a couple other projects I need to create today as well. I thought you might like to come along with me and we'll go cutting together and I'll cut this wedding. And then this clip will carry on and we'll make the wedding, uh, particularly I think the focus is going to be on the garland. We have a five metre garland to uh, create and install on Thursday morning. Anyway, come along with me and I hope you'll enjoy it. I have a cup of coffee. Oh yes, a little bit of hairs on my chest. Mmm. And always Rachel Petter Smith mugs. Look, matching my apron today. Um, if you enjoy the clips, 130 or something new followers since yesterday, thank you. If you enjoy the clips, please do subscribe to the channel. You can always press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks I give you along the way are helpful, you can always buy me a coffee. The coffee buying link is in the blurb to every single one of my clips. Right, let's get on. Let's go and fill those buckets up. Now, my trolley holds eight buckets and I cut 50 stems a bucket. So I know that I can cut 400 stems in each bucket. Yes, like everybody, we're loading up with logs this winter. Uh, <laughs> if I um, cut 400 stems in each trolley full, then I'm cutting essentially two and a half trolley fulls for this wedding. And it means I don't need to take my list with me so long as I cut 50s, all will be well. 
Now I'm going to start cutting the amaranthus because the quantity I get from here will influence how much other foliage I need. And you can imagine how good this is going to be in a garland, in a large urn, and the constant spry style arrangement in the drawing room. Also, this crop here, the small green ones, have already been cut quite hard. Look, that's where I cut it before. And you can see they're flowering quite happily on their side shoots. So I, when I cut all of this, it's not the end of the amaranthus for this year. It'll come back for the rest of the autumn and still be useful. Well, a trolley full of amaranth is quite the thrills, don't you think? Oh, yum! And there's your first trolley full. Hmm, don't mind if I do, madam. If it's been raining, as it has here, thank the good Lord, very hard, nice, 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 then one of my many top tips is that you back your trolley up so that it's facing the right way to be pulled out of your dahlia plot when you have finished cutting. There they are. So this is now pointing the right way because turning round a trolley full of dahlias is very, very heavy and you risk the whole thing falling over. Also, don't overstuff your buckets. They'll bruise. Here are Carolina Wagamans on the right and American Dawn on the left. Hmm, that's a nice combo. If I were an ordinary gardener, I would definitely include that in my mix. <sighs> oh, how I love my dahlias. Lovely spot of rain, so we're going to drag this trolley through. 25 stems per bucket, so this is only 200. But aren't they lovely? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> so here is the wedding cut mostly hot colors little bit of for example white uh amoebas naga to cool it all down uh we are probably around the 1200 stem mark so we've got plenty Detail from the crab apples. The incredible amaranthus is going to be amazing in the bigger arrangements and the hanging garland. Uh, we go on around here. We've got wild cornus, which goes a lovely colour at this time of year. And this is the green, that's a shield bug in the Physocarpus Diablo. So we've got some nice Physocarpus cornus combo and sedum, bells of Ireland, the lovely, slightly feeling their age, but in a very beautiful way. Hydrangeas, up here, we're getting into, uh, we've got for detail, these gorgeous penstemons, a little paler from the, um, I'm just filming, who was that coming in? A little paler from the, Cosmos, we've got a bit of grass action from the millet, and that, as they say, with some dried bits from what I've got hanging in the studio, should do nicely for this wedding. So that's it for part one of this wedding. Um, I could make one long film of the whole thing, but I think you'd all die of boredom. And anyway, this has made a nice little collection of... Uh, bits of info and colour and so on. So I'm going to make this as to one film and then tomorrow when I'm making up the flowers and installing the flowers on Thursday, I'll make another film. So do come back and see the next episode of this, what I would call quite funky wedding flowers. I like a funky look. I think they're quite funkadelic, uh, I think. Um, I don't think wedding flowers should really need to be normally formal or serious. I think let's 
funk it up a bit if we can <laughs> why not um anyway if you've enjoyed this clip please do subscribe to the channel thank you very much to all the new subscribers we've had something like 150 in the last 24 hours so welcome everybody please do press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming out and if any of the tips and tricks i've given you along the way today have been helpful then you can always buy me a coffee the link for buying coffees is in the blurb to all my clips You'll be glad to hear I have dried out since I got absolutely soaked to the skin. And slowly, so have the dahlias. Anyway, have a lovely uh, whatever you do between now and the next clip. And I'll see you very soon.